All right, here we've got a uh, 1967 Overlander. Uh, this is a bit of a project trailer. It's got pretty good bones in it. I'll do a quick little walk around on the outside here and then take you inside and uh, point out uh, what its issues are because it does have a few. Uh, starting on the outside, uh, the body's in uh, pretty good shape. Uh, there's one small dent you can see that looks way worse in the sunlight than it normally does, but yeah. Uh, one, one small dent up there on the top and then over here on the belly pan, get over the hitch. Looks like they uh, bumped into something there as well. But uh, besides that, uh, the body is uh, pretty good. Uh, a couple of normal scratches and tiny little dings here and there, but uh, nothing else major on the uh, exterior body panels themselves. Um, the windows, uh, none of them are intact original glass. Uh, they are all uh, plexiglass. Uh, it looks like most of the hardware is. Uh, still attached to the windows uh, but they've all been sealed up and are not opening at the moment uh, they used a kind of a nice uh, smoked plexiglass on most of them though so uh, at least did a good job on that except for the uh, kitchen one here that one's clear air conditioning is original but it is not working uh, motors totally seized up so uh, it's not even hooked up to power at the moment, but it is wired for a 30 amp circuit uh, on the back end breaker panel to, uh, to get to that. Uh, new tires uh, on both sides uh, have the other uh, two original rims. Uh, somebody, if they wanted to put the uh, old style uh, baby moon hubcaps back on, uh, the old clip style ones, um, could swap these tires out for, uh, for the original rims or uh, keep these both to spare or keep the other ones to spare, whatever you like. But uh, the other side has the original rims and also uh, new tires on it. These marks here and stuff aren't scratches or anything. They're just uh, kind of, I don't know, probably a tree brushing up against it and polish the clear coat a little bit. So that's what that, that is. Walking around the rear here. So this is, uh, this is where we have an issue in the trailer. Let's see. It's hard to see it on both sides, actually, but the uh, rear of the bathroom floor is rotted from about where the uh, insert starts here all the way back. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the original tile there, uh, the wood's rotten underneath it. Um, some of the plumbing system has been terminated here. I'm not really sure what that was even supposed to go to originally. Uh, I would suspect probably the uh, shower bath faucet. So the water system uh, needs some work, uh, mostly intact, but uh, non-functional at the moment. Let's leave that off for a minute. And then we're back to uh, the other side here. And then there's uh, this kind of rumple. I don't even know how this happened. It's like, almost like something hit it from the inside because it's bumped out in places. That or uh, there was a ding here and somebody uh, tried to uh, repair it. And it's a little bit rumpled, but again, not too bad. So that's the exterior. Open the door here and go inside. Uh, no door handle on it. I was going to put a new handle on it, but I didn't know what style somebody might want, whether they want the handle or just turn knob or anything else. But uh, the uh, deadbolt works. Okay, so the door's open now. So besides the rear floor... Not sure where that came from. Sorry. <laughs> uh, besides the rear floor, uh, the there's a soft spot here on the entryway door too. Um, floor gets solid uh, from about here in, but uh, there's definitely a, a soft area I can feel there. So there's the original uh, other two tires. Uh, those are not new tires, but the, the wheel rims and stuff are good. So the interior uh, on this is uh, pretty clean, uh, given its uh, lack of use over the last uh, 15 or 20 years. Uh, the upholstery is... Uh, Decent serviceable shape. Um, the way they sealed up the windows, it's uh, been pretty dry in here, so uh, it doesn't look like any leaks. Um, the 12 volt system and the 120, all the outlets work, and uh, most of the light fixtures work. So the uh, the wiring uh, system is intact and uh, functional. Uh, a couple of the lights uh, don't turn anymore, so like that fixture's dead. You can see they replaced the LED lights in that for some reason that doesn't work. And. Uh, Anyway, I'll just uh, walk on a quick tour here. Uh, normal household kind of dorm fridge. Uh, it works. Plugged it in the other day. It gets cold. Got its original 
stove oven. Again, I don't think most of these things were ever used. Turning on a gas oven inside of a tin box is not my idea of uh, something I'd like to be doing. But yeah, the woodwork and everything is uh, actually quite nice. Pantry storage. That would be the uh, control for the AC unit. Uh, this is the switch for the water pump and your TV settings, which are old and useless. Another outlet there. Around to the kitchen counter here. So you got your uh, three burner Magic Chef stove top here. And uh, sink cutting boards. Room divider here. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but uh, it's functional and intact. And then we got, this is the twin bed layout. So we got two twin beds on either side. And then uh, storage underneath on, on both sides, both rows. And then storage overhead on uh, both sides and both rows. Reading lights on both sides. This light fixture does not function. Um, both the fans work. I can't turn it on without cranking it and I can't open the vent, but uh, the fans work. So the wiring's good on those two. Got your uh, wardrobe pantries uh, on both sides here. Sliding pocket door. And then we get to the, uh, the bathroom here. Um, this has had some issues on the laminate on the wall, some damage there. Um, it's very blue. Some uh, cracking going on in the fiberglass there. Got your little accent light and then a oh. video part two. <laughs> Messed up there. So uh, yeah, accent lighting here and and storage. Uh, here's you got your clip. Ah, I don't want to mess with it, but anyway, the, the mirror folds out uh, so you can look on it face on or this. So the floor seems solid from about here, and then we get to the rear end here, and that's where the uh, the plywood is uh, definitely needing some uh, some maintenance and work. And then we got the uh, toilet under here. So uh, that's about it. Uh, any questions, uh, you can uh, reach out and I'll uh, help answer or uh, give you some more details on whatever you like uh, if you need anything else. But uh, other than that, uh, I'll have this listing posted in uh, shortly, sometime today. <laughs> Thanks for watching.